Welcome to Tantrum House HQ. I'm Sarah Meadows. I'm Melissa Delp. And I'm Kevin Delp. Today we're doing a playthrough of Tudor from Academy Games. Tudor is a two to four player worker placement set collection game. We actually are playing with some miniatures uh, instead of uh, the wooden meeples. This was an add-on on the Kickstarter, but so I wanted you to be aware of that. And um, Melissa's going to talk about the setup. So we've already set up the game. There's a lot of variability in the game. We have randomly put out circle tokens and then square faction tokens on top of them. We've also chosen a red scorecard and a green scorecard. There are multiple choices. We've used the ones that are in the suggested first game setup. And then there's also a blue card, and this card is going to determine how many rounds you play in the game and how many courtiers you can put out in certain phases. So we have also already chosen our starting rings, and we did that in a snake draft. We received cards that match the rings, and I think we are ready yeah. to start our first yeah. uh, turn. Each round is played in five phases, and we're getting ready to start me as first player with the chamber assignment. So I, looking at the blue card, we're going to assign two courtiers this round to the chambers. They're going to go on the benches outside of these three rooms. Which which one are you going to, Melissa? Which one? Which one? I think I will go here. Okay, Sarah. Uh, no, nope. you're next. Kevin. Oh, I'm next. <laughs> we go. We do go clockwise in this game. <laughs> I am going to go behind Melissa. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to go here. I will I will follow Sarah. Ooh. All right. I'm going to also follow Melissa and Sarah. All right. Sarah. So, oh, yep, one Sarah's more got for one Sarah. More? One more. Ooh, okay. And everyone's avoiding the last table. Yeah, I thought I thought Sarah might do it since I, she had her, I thought about her it, ring but... placement as in in, in that. Yeah. But all right, so that is the end of the chamber chamber assignment. Now they move into their chambers. In the first round, it doesn't make a huge deal, but in later rounds, these uh, courtiers stay in the chambers until they are pushed out. And we're going to stay in there a long time. At least <laughs> mine are. All right, so most of you get to place your lord now? All right, now we're placing lords. The lord gets to do both actions in the room instead of just one. And he also determines which rooms activate. Ooh. All right. I'm going to put him here. Okay. There are only two spots in each chamber for lords. Okay. I will go in. Oops. On the seat? On the seat. Yes, we're going to go on the seat. Sarah? All right. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go here. Go with Melissa. Ooh. All right. All right, the lords have been placed. Now we're going to take our actions. We can activate any of our figures in any order yep. to try to make it up the tracks because we are trying to collect the tokens and get to the tops of the tracks to get more rings because rings are really important. As I will show in this first activation, I am going to activate the A power and it says I can move a courtier in any direction in the throne room that matches a ring that I currently have. So I take one of my extra courtiers. I have a red ring. I'm going to take this spot right here. Ooh. I receive the token and then the white token. And we have a special power on our blue card that I can turn this white token in to take any faction card that I want. What? It doesn't have to match any of the rings I have. Are you going to do that? I am going to do that. All right. And I'm going to take a black. All right. What I am, are you doing, Kevin? I am also going to do that, but I'm going to go somewhere different. I'm going to go right here because I have a purple mm -hmm. ring. So my purple ring, I'm going to do the A power. And I'm also going to discard the card for a red card. Woo! Okay. Sarah. Okay. Why don't you go through the steps or the actions on so you, the tables? So for A, for the A and the C are pretty similar. You can use your ring power to move one space, or here you could discard one or two cards um, to move just forward a space. Or two. Or, or forward a space or two, but they have to match the token. So your cards mm -hmm. have to match what token you're going through. For the bottom B and D here, you can exchange your ring, and whatever ring you get, you're going to get a card of that color. 
And here you can get some more cards into your hand, but um, they have to match your ring color and they have to be different. All right. Except for Melissa and I, and we have special powers. So, do you know what you're doing, what? Sarah? Yes. All right. I am going to do the same A action okay. that you guys did. You're just following us. I know. Yeah, it tends to be one of the first things people do at the yes. beginning of the game. I'm going to go here. Oh, are you going to get rid of your white token? You can hold on to these tokens and cards as you collect them, but if you decide to hold on to them, then they only count for end game scoring. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is an, an immediate choice. All right, back to Melissa. All right, I am going to do something. Think. Yes, I am going to think. I'm going to activate this person right here you're going to do what? I am going to discard two cards. Okay. A red and a purple. Okay. Which lets me move up this track, up the purple and red. I receive both tokens. Both but square tokens. Both square tokens, but I only take the circular token where I finish my movement. Okay. I'll give that to Sarah since she's over here. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> They go back into the supply. I'm going to trade in my black token. It lets me switch spots with a courtier. No, 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 no. And I'm no. going to switch with Kevin no. so I'm not no. as close to being knocked out of that room. And then that's, oh, we need to refill. We do. We always refill the square tokens. This is the first tokens. time we've had to do that. We never refill the, Ooh, black. the round tokens. All right, so it's my turn. Mm -hmm. It is. I am going to do this. Ooh, he's activating his lord. Activating my lord. I'm going to do blue. I'm going to activate A first because he can do both A and B. So I'm going to go A here. And because Melissa decided to do it, I'm going to also going to activate this power. What? Going back up. Or I'm going back down. And then I'm going to do the B action, which is trade out my purple ring for a black ring. And I get a black. No, I don't get a card. Yes. I do get a black. I'll get a black card. Thank you, sir. And that is my turn. Now, Kevin, why don't you Kevin. explain why you put your ring on that finger? Oh, yes. So while Melissa's thinking here and, and doing her turn, every hand <clears throat> actually has um, a display of what the different powers do. And these are actually help. Um, enhance the powers of the different uh, tables. So for instance, um, right now in um, I did the B action, I could have taken, um, no, I, that's fine. Basically A lets me, instead of moving any direction with the uh, color of my ring, I actually can just move any direction. If I have three rings on these three fingers, I actually have two rings on these D fingers, but I haven't activated that power yet, so. Yeah, and when you take the B power, you have to put the ring in the same spot. So he did not have yes. a choice yes. to move his ring. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But placement of the rings at the beginning of the game was a choice. That's right. All right, so I activated my Lord. I took the D action first, which was gain two cards that were different. Okay. So I gained a red and green card, and now I'm going to take the C action, okay. which allows me to spend two cards to move. Yep, are you doing this green green? Yes. <laughs> And you get two greens and the black. Are you activating the black using the black token? And remind me what the black. You can is. switch places in the um, um, chamber. Yes, I will do that. All right. You should do it with Melissa. Hey now. Yes, I will switch with Melissa. All right. So we just make sure Melissa's already activated this person, and you haven't activated that and one. There's my spent token. All right. So back to Melissa. All right, the only thing I have left is my Lord, so I'm going to activate my Lord and take two actions. I'm going to move, ooh. Well, Melissa's is still thinking, the other things you can do that are shown on your um, player board, which is this cool hand, during the game, we can at any, um, in any time we can um, trade two cards for one card on our turn and they can do that as many times as we want but once per round those tiles that we're getting i'm going to activate my special ring power oh, good show us what you're doing melissa so i'm activating d normally i would have to take a red and a purple card but i'm going to take two red cards because okay. i can take the same color because you have a more powerful action mm -hmm. now and then i'm going to 
spend a one black card to move here. Uh-oh. Which gives me a token. Now, for scoring, we're trying to get similar tokens because they're going to help mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to turn in my black token. Okay, just do it to Sarah. No, Sarah. Do it to Sarah. <laughs> do this do one? To I know, I know. And then I have reached the top of a track. Okay. Our green scoring card says that when you reach tops of tracks, you get points. This is a short one. I get eight points. And you actually get to go doop, doop, doop. Yes. And you are now the Earl... Oh, no, there's only one spot. Hmm? One token. What are you talking about? Oh, did we not put a token there? No, oh, well. you got both tokens. Yeah, you, you went. Tokens. You went through. You're okay. fine. Hi. <laughs> um, oh, because I was on that space. I get a ring of my choice yes. now. And I can rearrange my tokens as I wish. While you do that, I'm mm -hmm. going to go. So I have one quarter year left, and I'm going to activate this one. And I'm going to uh, discard, I'm going to activate the C action, and I'm going to discard a purple and a red and move up twice. And I am going to land on that one so I get the circle. There you go, Sarah. And I'm okay. going to discard the white token for a yellow card. And I'm going to put some more tokens out. All right, I have one quarter year left, and I can take either the C or D. Actually. C or D. I am going to take the C action, and I'm going to spend a blue card. Okay. And that will move him up. Oh, you're also getting a uh, ring as well? Yes. So you are now <clears throat> Lord Keeper of the Privy Seal. <laughs> see on this. And is that an eight point? It's also eight points, yes. An eight point track? Mm -hmm. All right. And then, I feel like I'm behind already. I know. <laughs> um, you, I have a white token. You don't have to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it. Okay. <laughs> um, I am going to take a green card. All right. I believe that's the um, everyone's turn. Everyone has activated? Yes. Now, well, one, one question. Sure. With my this... Uh, action the C action is that moving one meeple you one cannot two split it okay. so it yes. has to be the same yep. person okay. good question mm -hmm. all right so at this point we have finished round one each person takes their lord back but leaves all of their courtiers and we push them back on they go back on their seats we're gonna move the round marker yes Boop. To another of King Henry VIII's wives. So we went from 1536 all the way to 1540. We only had a wife mm -hmm. for four years. All right. We don't need to make sure we have all the tiles still out. We're mm -hmm. good. We passed the first player marker. Passed the first player. Okay. How many workers do we get this and round? And now for the rest of the game, we only get to put one courtier out onto the benches at the beginning of the round. I'm going to put one right here. Mm -hmm. Sarah? All right. It's my turn. Yep. I am going... You also place one Ooh. there. Ooh. Okay. What do I want to do more of? That's the question. I'm going to place one here. I think we're just putting our lords out at this point. Because yes. we get to do... Nope. Seats first. Seats first. Thank you. Into the seats. We're going to chamber entry. No one's been pushed out yet? No. I purposely went over here so I wouldn't push anybody out. Or push yourself out of the room. Yeah. I'm not going to push myself out of that. All right. So, okay. Where are you putting I your lords, Sarah? I am going to... Go here. Thank you, Sarah. You're so nice. Because if she hadn't gone there and I don't go there, that room doesn't activate. So those players wouldn't have been able to take but these actions. But we, we can still do actions. They can take these lesser kind of e actions over here. They're e actions, as Melissa said. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm going to go here to make sure this room activates. That's very nice of you. All right. The Your fir first player. Yes. The first thing I'm going to do is... Um, activate this courtier. I'm going to activate the A power with uh, the blue ring and go up one here. And I'm going to take, um, discard the black token and switch with Melissa. All right, your turn, Sarah. Right. While she's thinking, I didn't actually explain the other side of the hand, which is each round we can, we don't have to, we can discard two of the square tokens, those faction tokens, to move. Um, any one um, courtier in the throne room, one spot orthogonally, so backward, forward. And you might be thinking, why wouldn't you always just want to go forward? Well, 
the end of the game, we are trying to collect sets of the same color faction. So you might see a color um, next to you, left or right, or behind you, or something that you really want. So you might activate something like that to get that token to help you get a lot more points. All right, I am going to take the D action okay. with my guy, and I am going to gain uh, red and a green. Red and a green, all right. I'm going to take the A action, and I have a yellow ring, so I'm going to put courtier out on this one. All right. And I'm going to spend my black token to switch spots there. All right, my <laughs> turn. My mm -hmm. turn? Yes. I'm going to activate the C action with this courtier. I'm going to discard a black and a yellow. And I'm going to go boop, boop, like that. That's what he does in the court throne room. And I have now Lord High Chancellor. I get 28 points. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those long tracks. And I'm going to discard this card for a... Um, don't kill my cards. Just tell him. Sorry, this token, thank you. I'm going to discard this token for a um, red one. And do you want to? I was going to put the tokens out, but you have longer arms. Than I, do. I do. I'll put the tokens out uh, you. All while you. Right. Sarah goes. For my turn, I will activate my lord on this last table. Uh, I'm going to do the F action first, which is gain a card. So Any card of your choice. I'm going to gain a brown card. And now you are you could actually gain two and discard one if you wanted to because your um, your rings are on your thumb and your pinky. So your F, right. could, you could, you don't have to. I actually am going to do that. All I'm right. going to gain a brown and a blue and, you're and disc discard a red. See, that might have helped you out. It actually did. There okay, now I have, I'm going to take the E action which allows me to spend cards and move a courtier and I can do that up to seven times. So I am going to spend four cards. Wow. I have red, green, brown, and blue on this mm -hmm. track. <laughs> <laughs> She's running up there trying to get that top spot. Okay. And then I have a black token that I can spend and I am going to on this table yes there's my spent token all right thank you no matter what I do just get a... back to Melissa what you doing Melissa what am I doing oh we need some tokens there oh I'll do that thank you Melissa I... I am the token. I am the Lord High Chancellor token person. <laughs> I wish I had set myself up better, but I did not. Going I was to... worried, but I realized, oh, I have the uh, extra power for having mm -hmm. my rings in these two locations. Well, I have the extra power that on A, I can move on any spot, but I actually... Needed to use it on that one. Okay. But I'm not going to, so I'm going to use the B power to change a ring out. And okay. I'm going to change out yellow for brown. Yellow for brown. Oh, which gives right. me a brown card. Um, brown card? card. Yes. That's yes. correct. Is it my turn? Yes, it is. It is. I'm going to activate the Lord here in this first chamber. I'm going to activate the A first, and I, I have a black ring, so oh, I'm going to get a new courtier out. Go right here, take a black hey token. Now. <laughs> I'm coming for your so seat. So if Kevin gets to the top of that row column and dethrones me, then he gets to steal one of my rings. I'm going to trade out my black ring for the other black ring and get a black card, please. That is allowable. And uh, that is my turn. All right. Back to Sarah. Uh, for my turn, I am going to activate the B power. OK. 
Okay. And I'm going to switch out a ring. What color ring would you like to switch out? I am going to switch out my red ring. For? A brown ring. Ooh, brown, brown seems to be a good commodity here. In a three-player game, there's only two of each ring. Brown so you right. could have an instance now there aren't any more brown rings for Kevin if he wanted that. Oh, the humanity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to activate my Lord. Okay. And I am going to take a red card and a purple card. And then I am going to discard a red and a brown. Okay. If it's, yeah, you just do it. To move up here. Okay. I am going to discard my black token to... Switch oh, spots not again. A good choice. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Sarah. And then we need more tokens. Yes, I'll do that. Oh, mm -hmm. actually, it's my turn. Okay. I I have one guy left, I believe. Yes, this guy all the way over here. I am going to discard. <sighs> Gets tricky. It does get tricky. I think I'm just going to discard two cards. Um, my black and red. Uh, cards to move up to and that will be my turn whoa 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 flying tokens uh, all right since I'm not gonna keep my ring for too much longer <laughs> <laughs> so evil <laughs> I am going to use the E action with okay. my last guy here. Mm -hmm. I was hoping to have another purple card by this point, but I do not. So I'm just going to spend a brown and move up. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to spend this to get a card, and I'm going to get a purple card. Okay. Melissa, your last dude. I am going to activate the C action and spend a red card and a purple card Okay. to move. Doop, doop here Ooh. and I am going to spend this okay to switch these no. two no, no, no. I am also going to spend two tokens Ooh. to move an extra space I can only do that once per round okay. so I'm just gonna put them there yep so I'm going to take she this last it. space uh, nice nice Melissa. With that extra yes um, are you I'm going to take a card. Okay. I need to figure out which card. Melissa's taking a card. And I'll I'm replace the tiles while we do that. What was that, Sarah? So you're going to put out the tiles. Oh, yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> I'm going to take a... Oh, I'm, all, I'm up here. Oh, sorry, thank you. So I'm going to take... It's a brown. Too bad I don't have a brown ring. A... Sorry, Kevin. That's okay. <laughs> I'll... <laughs> <laughs> what? I know you're gonna. Yeah, you're you're gonna steal a card from. I think I'm gonna take green. There's a ton of green out, and so. Um, that gives you a lot of choices. I made it to the top. Oh yes, how many points do you get? And got? it is 18. Oh, you're down there. And I need to choose a ring. All right, I'll do this for you. Well, eight you get plus a ring. 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 26. Ooh. All right, what I color ring? I am going to take blue. Okay. And I'm gonna put it here. We get our for now. everyone's done. Great, we get our lords back. Yes. These okay. tokens are discarded. Discarded out of the game. Yep. And we move our courtiers back to their seats. I guess mm -hmm. I'll do all of them. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we pass this to Sarah. Mm -hmm. all right. We're gonna move the round marker to three. And we're gonna start round three. We're gonna fast forward a little bit for you, and then we'll pick up in round four. <laughs> round three and we have started round four we've put our courtiers out on their benches and now we're getting ready to move them into the chambers all right now uh -oh. yes there are too many so we're gonna start bumping people out Kevin has been oh, expunged. I'm not even like in that chamber I know. No. <laughs> so there you go oh. you're not in the middle chamber <laughs> uh -oh. we'll see I what did happens. have one bumped off last round so I think we're even all right mostly now. you're gonna put your lord all out. right I am putting my lord out this oh it's going to be tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. It's 
Where do I think Sarah will go? <laughs> All right. I'm going to... Well, I know where Kevin's going, yeah. so... No, not, not unless Melissa goes there. I... She was I'm... debating it. It was in her mind thinking, I'm going to go on the table, so I actually take that table action. Yes. Do I want another one of those, or do I want another one of these? I'm going to I'm gonna go over here. All right. I'm doing this because no one else is going to do that. Sarah? All right. Oh, okay. she takes one. We've that had games look. before where someone didn't take a table action, and it was like all those courtiers oh. took stinky. stinky actions. All right. So first thing that I am doing, I am taking one of these and I am moving yellow, purple, black. Okay. Coming for you, Kevin. What? And I need to replace that? Yeah. Okay. And then it's your turn. Dun, 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 dun. I need Too bad for... I didn't have my rings on the other side. I could have activated that power. Yep. I am going to take... Um, I'm going to do this and take a green and a black card with um, the D action. Okay. All right. Sarah? I am going to take the A action, which allows me to move one. That's the same color as my ring, so I'm going to do brown. And I'm going to take over Melissa's spot. No, it's Kevin. Kevin. Oh, it's Kevin. Awesome. Kevin. I, you can just give me my meeple back. I'm so gonna... Sarah gets eight points. Okay. Uh, one thing we wanted to mention. One thing we wanted to mention is Sarah and I forgot to take rings yes. when we reached the top of the spot um, at the beginning of the Your round. loss. So yeah. Sarah has taken over <laughs> Kevin's pot spot and disgraced him, so now she gets to steal one of his rings. Just semi-disgraced. I'm still Lord High Chance Chancellor. And you can right, move rings around I can move my any rings around. spot, but you have all five. I feel. You can move your rings around. I think I'm good. So, But it is Melissa's turn. It is my turn. I am going to... Wow, that's not very helpful. I would oh, no, I have purple. I'm gonna say what what ring? <laughs> There's would only one benefit? little ring. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to move, activate my A action, and just move up one. Okay. Crawling up the track. Oh. I, Kevin, I should yes. have moved my A action. Oh, you didn't move backwards. Yeah. Thanks, there Sarah. You go. I'm going to activate this guy and discard a green green and go up green green here. Doop, doop. Coming for you, Melissa. What? I'm going to take a purple card. It is Sarah's turn. Okay. And we need a token on those. Yes, on thank those you. Spots. Just one spot, right? No, uh, mine as well. Up there. Where? Oh, right there. Thank you. Sorry. All right. We'll see if this plan works for me. <laughs> I am going to activate this corner. I'm gonna spend, uh, let's see, three cards. I'm gonna follow you guys up this track here. Oh! Ooh. Now, if Sarah does get close to Melissa, she could skip now, over. Now, do you have your E action uh, activated? She does. I yeah. do. You can keep one of those cards. Yes. Oh. Let's see, it helps Let's getting more see. powerful. What did I, I played red, blue. Well, yeah, you have them right in your hand. And black. I am going to keep the... Melissa, we'll you know what you're doing? I blue. am... All right, you're gonna keep blue, Sarah? Yeah. All right. I'm going to... It's taking like all my actions to do this <laughs> stuff. Stiffs. Yeah, I need cards. All right. I'm going to take. Just gonna. All right. What are you doing? That one. I am going to move. One up. spot. One little spot. Are you probably not? 
using that card, um, that token. I'm going to keep this token for now. <laughs> for endgame, I am thinking. I need to replace your tiles right here. You can't thinking. do anything else, can you? I can spend two tiles to move. Oh, yeah. Yes, you can. Yes, you I'm can. going to spend a yellow and a green okay. to move this spot. I'll just keep that in front of you because you're once per right. round. You are deposing me as Lord High Chancellor? I am. Okay, push me out. And you get 28 points and steal one of my rings. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 42, 52. I am going to take... Um, I'm getting dethroned. <laughs> take the green one. All right. I am going to activate this courtier, discard a purple and a black, and go black and purple here. And I'm going to keep the token. All right. I Sarah? am going to activate the D action okay. there. Okay. And I'm going to take two cards. I'm going to use my D ring action, which allows me to take two of the same card. Okay. So I'm going to take two green. All right. Ugh, stink. Oh, you just stole a ring from me? Yes, you can rearrange them. I was going, I had this super plan, and I just messed up my plan. Good. So when someone steals <laughs> oh, a ring, tokens. when yeah. someone steals a ring, or when you add a ring, not when you switch, you can um, rearrange the rings on your hand. Is it your turn, right, Melissa? It is my turn. Oh, no, no. It's going to work. Okay. It's going to work. Like, I had a plan. Plan it out. Work I'm the going plan. to use my A action okay. to move here. I'm just going to keep that. Okay. And then my B action, I'm going to trade a red ring for a red ring and get, get a red, red card. card. Is it my turn? It is. Yes. All right, I'm doing uh, my Lord action here and doing D first, getting two browns, spending, spending those two browns here in my C action and going up and dethroning Melissa. Oh. And taking, um, let's see, I need... You get 18 points. Oh, I do. Thank you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 57, 67. And I'm going to steal um, my green ring back. All right. For my turn, I am going to use my Lord action at this table. I'm going to take F first, which allows me to gain a card. So I'm going to gain a yellow, and then I'm going to use the E action, which allows me to spend cards. I'm going to spend two green and a black and a yellow, okay. and I'm dethroning. Whoa! Wow. Yeah. Know, Melissa. Melissa. And you get all those tokens. Yes. Wow. I'll take. And then, do I keep one card if I would like? Yes, you keep one of those cards since you are still powerful enough to keep it. All right, I am going to hang on to. It's really hurt me that I'm not I in know. here. I need cards. Yes. All right, so Sarah, are you keeping one of those cards? I am. I'm and gonna... did you do both of your actions? Or yes, I gained a card steal one of your first, rings. and then I right. no, you, used my cards to card. move. Sarah's going to be so powerful that she's going to have to put a ring on top of a ring. All right, I think I'm going to keep the <laughs> yellow. So mess this up. You know what you're doing, Melissa? Actually, she's got to steal a ring first. Which one yes. do you want, Sarah? Let's take. Do I gain the card? For no, the... no, just the just ring. The just ring. the ring. Okay. I'm gonna. Choices, take choices. Red. Red, it is. All right, Melissa, what are you doing? Mm, or what uh, action? It doesn't really matter where this is. So goes. you've used all your peeps out on the tables, but you'll still get an action. I still have an action, because yes. I had somebody who was bumped off. Yes. No. One, two, three, four, five. One, we all had one, one two, that was three, four, oh. five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so this is our last action. Okay. So maybe... Oh, because you still have oh, one. Oh, you still got Yeah, still yeah. Okay, we sorry. all have one left. Sorry, I thought Sarah had... But we had all bumped each other mm -hmm. off once. Yes. All right, this is my last guy. Gotcha. I'm going to... Last action, Melissa. Yeah, I'm... I'm going to trade two cards 
for a card. Those two for a green card, which is one of the free actions you can take. And I'm going to spend the red and the green just to move up okay. here. And so. <laughs> All right. Is that it? My turn? Yes. I have one dude left right here. I'm going to activate uh, the green ring and move up a spot. Take a green, and then I'm going to activate my once per uh, turn, or once mm -hmm. per round. I'm going to discard two tokens to move up one more spot to get a brown and dethrone Sarah up here oh, as no. Lord Keeper of the Privy Seal. <laughs> and I'm going to get um, a ring and you get, get eight, eight, point. eight points. Uh, Six, seven, eight. Let's see here. I'll put out tokens Thank while you. you think about. What ring color? Oh, red looks cool. I don't have any more turns left. Yeah. Sarah, it's your last turn. Last turn. Make it count. I know. Then we'll count up points and I've... see who wins. Hmm. <laughs> we could catch up. Oh no, I mean it's coming, it's gonna come down to the tokens. Yes. I don't okay, have as many good. as Melissa over there. Mm -hmm. I didn't do uh, as well as I wanted to on collecting the tokens. Sarah, what are you doing? Let's see. I can spend a token to move, is it? You can spend two tokens. She's to... here. You could grab a card. You could discard. You don't have any cards left? No, I have a couple cards, but I was hoping to switch out. Cards. Yes, you can spend two tokens, any two tokens, to, to move, move one, one space. Spot. Okay. Either before or after, but not in the middle of. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going to go here. Okay. To get rid of two tokens? Yep. Just put them in front of your screen. Okay. And then I'm going to take my action. Your E action? Yes. And, and discard. I'm going to move. Doo -doo. Very nice. All right, and now doesn't really matter. I can put two more tokens out here. I think that ends the um, round. Yes. All right, so now we're gonna do is we're going to look at our scoring cards here. Our scoring cards are um, two, well, we don't have any more of yeah, these. Yeah, that was in that was during, during game, the game scoring, so, so we did that. Now we're going to look at sets of the same colors and let's discard the ones in front of our screen so we don't mess up that. Mm -hmm. Oops. Thank you, sir. Going to, I don't think we need the ring hands. No, we can anymore. get rid of the ring hands. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, let's see. I have two set or three sets of four, and four is 10 each. So that's 30 points? That's 30. Okay. And then I have a one, two, three, four, five, a set of six, which is 21. So that's 51. Then I have a one, oh, two, and a one. 53. So 53, 53 points. Mm -hmm. 1, 2, 3, 10, 20, 30, 40, 53. Okay. Melissa, you only have five points. <laughs> so right. I haven't started mine yet. but you... Okay, I have a set of seven. Ooh, 28. Just 28 points. Oh, let's do that real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 52, 62. I don't think Sarah got her... 28 are getting yeah. to the top. Oh, yeah, yeah. we'll give you 20. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, mm -hmm. eight. She should be my. Should... All right. Okay, and then I have a set of ten, four for 10 points. Okay, 100. A set of three for six. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry, Melissa. And a set of two for three points and then two additional. Did you get that four one as well? Yeah. No. Uh, no. No, it's another 10. Mm -hmm. And then. 21. I got these. The... Oh, uh, we'll, we're, we'll we're do that at the end, yeah. Okay. All right, so I've got a set of one, two, three, four, five, six, which is 21. Mm -hmm. 96, 86, 96. I've got a set of one, two, three, four, four, 10. 96, 106. Mm -hmm. I got a set of one, two, three, another set of four. Yeah, Kevin's like, oh, I didn't 16. get many tokens. <laughs> I got another set of four for 10, oh. 16, 26. I got another set of four for 10, 26, 36. And I got a set of two, which is three, three points. points. One, two, three. All right. Now we look at our um, one more thing. Every game you look at the top of the board here, and we have a three-player game. And so whoever has the most um, white, black, and cards total. I have is three. Good. Good's going to get five points. How many do you have? I have... Two. Two. I also have two. So Melissa is going to get five points. Woohoo! And uh, we split. So we each get a point. Tied. Awesome. Good job. Mm -hmm. Good game, Good game everyone. That is Tudor. 
And we actually, Melissa and I did a play or a preview video of this as well if you want to learn more about the rules and what our thoughts are on the game. Yeah, and the different cards that you set out are really going to change up your strategies and how you play the game and what you're trying to do. Thanks for joining us on this playthrough and uh, look forward to more videos from Tantrum House and subscribe to our channel.